Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we are going to build an app deployment pipeline. So in the last video, in the last couple of videos, I built a Jenkins server and then we did infrastructure deployment using that uh, Jenkins server. We built a pipeline that basically was deploying an EC2 instance, right? In this, we are basically going to deploy a Python application onto a Kubernetes cluster. So I'm not going to cover how to build a Kubernetes cluster in this video. I assume that you already have a Kubernetes cluster running on EKS or anywhere where you are running it. It's already there, right? So we are going to deploy an application on that Kubernetes cluster using a CI CD pipeline. So this is the Jenkins server, which we built in our last video. You can see the Terraform deployment pipeline is there. Uh, let me go to my AWS. And this is the Jenkins server. And these three instances are basically part of the EKS cluster, which I have created, which is running right now. Let me go to my GitHub and show you what we have. So we have an application folder here, here, which has an app.py. So this is basically a basic Python uh, Flask application, which I've written. And then there's a requirement.txt, which basically has nothing, just Flask. Then we have a Kubernetes folder under which I have created a deployment. So this basically deployment is, is what we are going to deploy or we are going to create on the Kubernetes cluster. And this is going to use this image, right? And then we are exposing this deployment using a load balancer type of service so that we can actually access this on the browser. Then there's a Docker file. So this is a Docker file, which we are using to Dockerize our application. So we're just copying the files which we have into the into the container uh, basically running pip install and then we are just starting the application uh, main thing is happening in the jenkins file right so first i have this install docker function so basically name is install docker but this is doing uh, two things so first it is installing docker on my jenkins agent and also installing kubectl so Docker I need because I'll be building the image on the uh, Jenkins agent itself and kubectl for deploying the deployment and the service right on the Kubernetes cluster. This is where the pipeline begins. So I am setting up an environment variable which points to my Docker hub repo, right? This repo you need to create, right? So you need to have a repo already existing. Uh, we are not creating this repo in this video. So you can either log into your Docker Hub account, create a repo, or I mean, whatever container registry you're using, it can be ECR, you need to have this repo, right? Then the first stage is basically where we are doing the install of the requirement which we have, like Docker and kubectl. Then we are just checking out the code over here. Then in the th third stage, which is build and push, we are building the Docker image and we are pushing that to a Docker Hub using our Docker Hub cred credentials. So these, this is basically an ID of credential, which I have created in my Jenkins. So if you go into Jenkins, go to manage Jenkins, there is a credentials tab, go to global, and then you can create your own credentials, like how Jenkins will actually push your image to uh, the Docker hub, right? Okay. And the last stage is basically nothing. It's just deploying it. So I'm using AWS CLI to point my context to my cluster and then I'm doing kubectl apply of the deployment file and the service.yml right so that's all what we are doing now let's go to Jenkins go to dashboard new item application deployment and this is going to be a pipeline and okay This is going to deploy Python application on Kubernetes cluster. So Kubernetes cluster you can create using EKCTL, Terraform, or manually from AWS console on EKS, whatever the way you prefer, right? Thank you, Grammarly. Yeah, coming down, pipeline script, pipeline script from SCM, select that. SCM would be get select it come on and the repo URL let's just go to repo. copy this just get rid of 
get credentials would be none branch would be main and not master and the file name is Jenkins which is fine we'll just save this and we are going to build this and we'll fix any issues if we see right on the go so it has started the pipeline let's see the console output all right so it was quick right I mean it already we did a lot of things very quickly building the image all right so you can see the pipeline is successful and that was quick so if I go back to my AWS console and go to load balancers yeah see the load balancer is created and this is the DNS so let's just copy this DNS and try to hit this on the browser and currently we don't see anything that's because I think it's still creating so if we do host yeah so there are still no IPs so I'll just pause this video and come back when this has some uh, targets basically so targets will take some time maybe a couple of minutes we'll just wait okay so now you see if I do a host on this we are getting some IP addresses right so that means targets have come let's go back refresh this but still there is no web page let's wait for another minute or so and see if it displays otherwise we'll fix the issues if probably there is some issue and after a few refreshes you can see we have our website hello from microservices so that's all the text we were displaying and we are just using the AWS load balancer DNS right so our application is deployed which is good and we did it using the pipeline completely automated so you can have this pipeline run every time you check in a code and this will do the deploy so yeah that's all I wanted to cover in this video in case you have any questions regarding the pipeline or any anything which you didn't understand probably just put that in the comments and I'll be able to help you guys cool so that's all and yeah please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching